Hello and welcome. Kaga has now been released on all the servers, so let's talk about her. She is a tier 7 Japanese carrier that focuses on dealing damage to surface ships. She has very high alpha strike power and lots of replacements. She has two loadouts, a two fighter, two torpedo bomber and one dive bomber loadout, and a second loadout that focuses on dive bombers that you should never use. Her torpedo bombers have a unique drop pattern and the torpedoes are faster than normal. 48 knots compared to the standard 34 and 35 knots. Her main drawback is that her planes are all tier 6. This means that the planes have a lot less health and are slower. Now this isn't as bad as it might sound because her main strike power comes from torpedo bombers. And Hiryu also has tier 6 torpedo bombers, so Kaga is not losing that hard in strike. Other than that, Kaga also has very accurate dive bombers but they deal a lot less damage than usual dive bombers. There are also very few replacements for dive bombers and so you're very likely to lose them quickly. Her anti-air capabilities are mediocre and since this is tier 6, you do, need, you do need to watch out for getting sniped because you don't have defensive fire. However, her two fighter squadrons are generally enough to defend yourself. So, I think you should play Kaga in the following way. Her focus is on alpha striking all the surface ships, cruisers, destroyers, battleships and sometimes even carriers. If you do your torpedo drops right, you should be able to take out most targets in one shot or put them on very low health. However, you need to avoid enemy defensive fire like the plague. Due to Kaga's drop pattern, you have a lot of difficulty actually hitting anything when your torpedo bombers are under effects of defensive fire. Dive bombers should act as a follow-up for maybe some fires that are necessary or to just drop onto destroyers from time to time. Use your fighters to defend your fleet with strafing, uh, if you're good at it, you'll still take out plenty of planes. I average over 30 planes on her, so it's definitely possible to do well. Uh, mostly because the average player is not good at all and uh, you can just outplay them. Now this all might sound really great so far, and if you've been watching the strikes in the background, she might even seem overpowered. And I would say that she probably is OP against surface ships played in a mediocre fashion. However, the biggest issue she has is that the Saipan exists at the same tier. And the Saipan will absolutely devastate her. Just, just go re-watch the video where I uh, got the solo warrior with Saipan against the Kaga. And the problem lies in the fact that Saipan is just too strong, and I think that Saipan being there and being common makes playing Kaga quite frustrating at times. All you can basically do against the Saipan is just pray that your opponent is not good at playing Saipan, that's it. But then again, if you were a Hiryu or a Ranger, you'd be praying for the exact same thing. I would use um, standard upgrades on Kaga, aircraft DPS in the first offensive slot, fighter HP in the second offensive slot, less fires in the first offensive slot and less fire duration in the second defensive slot. In terms of commander skills, I just recommend using a standard Japanese carrier commander. This means that you should take aircraft servicing expert, torpedo acceleration, torpedo armament expertise, air supremacy, dogfighting expert and concealment expert. With the last 4 points you can deci decide on what you want, since I used this captain on the Hakuryu, I went with manual and tier. In conclusion, I think that Kaga is a very strong strike carrier if you know how to use her. You'll have frustrating games against competent players, especially competent Saipans, but luckily most players you will run into are not that good. Surface ships should be afraid of her and try to actually react to her by focusing fire on the planes with anti-air and trying to dodge the torpedo bombers. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the Patreons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your uh, support, Robin Toth, Arib and Nukezone, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.